Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over what it looks like to use Kaltura from the perspective of a student. Now the features for a student are actually very similar to the professor's features. So with Kaltura, you're going to be able to have a place to record videos and upload media, which you can then publish to your class's media page as long as your professor gives you that ability. So the first thing we're going to talk about is something called a My Media page. Now when you first log in to Moodle, you'll see on the left hand side you have My Media here. And if you aren't seeing this menu here, maybe if it is collapsed, you can expand it by clicking on the three horizontal lines here at the top and that will then expand your menu for you so you can see it. So you're going to click on My Media and when it loads, this is where you're going to start building all of the videos that you might want to share. Now you might use this if your teacher asks you to record your screen, maybe if there's a PowerPoint presentation that you make that they would like you to talk over, you'll be able to use the tools within here to complete your assignment and do what your professor is asking you to do. Now most of the actions that are going to take place are going to be from the add new menu. So if you click on add new, you have a few options here and we're going to go over them. If you click on media upload, this is going to allow you to choose a file to upload or drag or drop a file. Now the media upload is for videos that have been previously recorded. So maybe if you have recorded something of yourself that you would like to upload for the class or upload as a part of your assignment, you can choose a file to upload and if you click choose a file to upload it's going to open up your computer where you could then search to find the file that you're looking for. So I found an mp4 on my computer that I'm going to select and it's going to give me the screen where I can now change any of the information about that. You can see that it's uploading here. I can change the name here. I can enter a description and any tags if I wish. And by default, you're going to publish this as private, which means no one is going to be able to see it yet. Anything inside of my media is not going to be made public until you allow it to be made public. So we're just going to click save. And really depending on how long your video is, is how long it will take to show up. So if your video is a little bit on the longer side, it might take a little while to show up here in my media, but that's not really a problem because you can continue doing the work that you need to do. So it might have processed by now if we click on this video, but you can see that it's still being processed, which is fine because we'll just move on to the next option here and then we can go back to that. So the next thing here is going to be Express Capture. And all Express Capture is is a quick video of your webcam filming you. So you could use this to record yourself chatting, recording maybe an introduction of yourself. And once you record the Express Capture, it will then show up in this section as well. The next option here is going to be a YouTube video. So if you want to upload a YouTube video to your My Media, you can do that very easily. So as you can see, I've opened up a tab here with YouTube video that I want. And from the add new menu, I'm going to click YouTube and then it's going to ask me to just paste the link. So if I go to my YouTube video and I choose share, I can copy the link from here and then go back to my Moodle page where I can then paste that link directly in here and you can preview it as well. It'll take a moment, just let this finish processing and the video will then show up here on the right hand side where you can start playing it. Now by default, it is going to be muted. At least mine is muted. So if you aren't hearing it right away, don't be nervous. You just have to unmute it by clicking the speaker there. And you'll see that all of the information down here is what is going to be pulled from the actual YouTube video. So the name is here, whatever the description is, and you can also add tags if you wish as well. So again, we're going to publish as private because we can't publish it to anything yet, but I will show you how you can publish uh, in just a few minutes. So we're going to save it, go back to my media, and then you'll see that the YouTube video has now been added to this as well. So we have, we've spoken about the first three, which is going to be media upload, express capture, and YouTube. Now, if we were to click inside of using QuickMill in Moodle, this may be done by now. And as you can see, the video has shown up here so we can start playing it whenever we want to start playing it. And this video will upload and now it's going to be inside of your My Media and it's ready to be shared when you're ready to share it. The next option on this menu is going to be Lecture Capture. Now, Lecture Capture is a little bit more of a sophisticated recorder than Express Capture. So if you click Lecture Capture, what's going to come up is a, is a 
launch application here. Now I already have this on my computer so that's why it is asking me to open it. It's asking me what would you like to open this with but if you have never downloaded it before you'll have to download it to your computer just once. So if you have a Windows computer, you're going to download for Windows. If you have a Mac computer, you're going to download for Mac and that will then download the recorder for you. So we're going to click open link and it automatically opens on my computer for me. But again, if you have never downloaded this desktop recorder before, you'll have to do that the first time. And now you're going to see this little application pop up here. So basically what Lecture Capture allows you to do is it allows you to speak about something specific, but it will also record what you're talking about. So it records your screen for you and it also shows a video of your face if you choose to have that. So we're going to pull up a PowerPoint presentation here. And you'll want to make sure your PowerPoint presentation is ready to go because you're going to put it in that presentation mode and that's how you're going to start speaking over it. And also you want to make sure that it's not in protection mode. It will tell you when you first open it up, it'll ask you to disable that and that way uh, you're able to have it shown when you are sharing that video. So here we are back to Kaltura Capture and the first option here is going to be to record. So this big red button is how you're going to start recording. But before you do that, you want to take a look at a few of these other settings to make sure you are showing exactly what you want. So screen is going to record your screen. So if you're recording your desktop, if you're recording a PowerPoint presentation, you would keep that here. Now, if for some reason you don't want to record your entire screen and you just want to record your face, you can shut the screen off by clicking on that. A line will go through it and will not record your screen. The same thing goes for your camera. If you do not want your face showing on the actual video, you can shut your camera off, but you can leave it on if you want your face to be showing when you are recording the video. The last thing is also for audio. If you want them to be able to hear you, you want to make sure that the audio is turned on. But sometimes people will record videos without audio. So if you don't need it, you can shut it off. But a note I do want to make here is you'll see these little arrows that are pointing down. Sometimes there have been situations where a person is using a headset and maybe they don't think the video is picking that up for them. You want to make sure that you are choosing the correct audio source. So for example, if I click on the arrow, my microphone for my computer is correct, but if I had other options to choose from, I can choose it from this menu. So you just want to make sure that you are picking the correct microphone and that way it will hear you the right way. And the same goes for these other options as well. If you have a different camera or a different screen, you want to make sure you're choosing the right one so it is recording what you would like it to record. So when you're ready to start recording, you're going to click on the record button here. It's going to come up here in the lower right corner with all the little information that you need and you're going to start your recording as normal. So now we want to do a slideshow in this example. So we're just going to play our slideshow from the start and now it's going to record my PowerPoint presentation. So I can navigate through this using the keys on my keyboard like I'm doing now. And if at any point I want to annotate, I can do that by clicking on the little pen here in the lower right corner and I want to choose what I want to do. So I'm going to draw and I can choose a color that I want and I can highlight and do whatever I want to do. I can circle something if I'm trying to point that out. Now two things you want to make note of here. The first thing you want to make sure you do is before you move on to the next slide, you want to clear what you have done. If you don't clear what you've done, it's going to carry over into the next slide. The other thing you want to make sure you do when you're ready to continue navigating to a different slide is you want to click on the actual pen button again so it knows that you're finished. And I always click back into my slide so it knows I'm ready to go on. So now we can keep going like this and then that's it. Now if you want to pause your recording, you can pause it or you can stop your recording which is what we're going to do now. So it's going to ask if you're sure and I'm going to say yes, stop it. And now it has recorded my video for me. So you can see that it has recorded both of these options here. If we press play, it will automatically start playing whatever the video is and the image of your camera and the image of your screen. So we can change the title here if we want to, or we can just click save and upload. So saving and uploading it is going to upload it to your My Media page. It is not uploading it publicly yet. It is just uploading to your media page. Now this does take some time depending on how long your video is. And even if your video is on the shorter side, it could take a little bit of time just to show up. But that's okay because we can just continue doing something else on our page. 
So we're going to go back to our Moodle page now and we're going to go back to our My Media page and we're going to give it some time to show up while I chat about a few other things. But we can see that um, actually our recording has already shown up, but it is probably still processing at this point. So the last thing on this menu is going to be a video quiz, which we aren't really going to go over how to make one in this video, but we are going to go over how you can take a video quiz if a professor does give you that option. So if we go ahead, let's click on our Kaltura recording and see if it has shown up, which it has, which is great. So now we're ready to do what we have to do with this. If we want to share it, we can do that. So that's going to be an overview of how to use my media.